Hi, I'm Exisis, and this is Terraformers, and welcome back to Mars. Oh, we forgot to rename our new city up here too. Da Vinci, alright. We will pick that and... Uh, uh, yeah, let's go with yellow, yellow is a good color here. We'll start off there and now we will press the turn and we can get playing. Expansion hub. Now this is one you place on a tile and then it expands the city to all the adjacent tiles. So if we were to place it here for example, we would gain access to both of these. It would be good to do that before you expand to this one of course. And I don't think we've got any other really good locations for it. This one would be okay if we hadn't gotten almost all of them around there anyway. But we're not going to take that one anyway. We need the uh, titanium for other projects. Don't really want the Marsha, we want other things. Hypertronic farm would be nice to boost the. Uh, uh, since it, uh, it costs water, then we're mostly using water to expand. We did have another lava tube up here to expand for and it is fully explored. So I think that one would be worth it. We do have the science to get the advanced land clearance techniques and we want to get this mine up and running and that means we're all out of power again and we don't have anywhere we can build the drone hub. So let's uh, do some more applied research and we can see Got any other projects? We've got a luxury workshop. It provides us with some support. A robotized laboratory. And a bacteria spreader. Alright. I'm thinking the uh, hypertronic farm is probably the better pick here anyway. We want probably want to be expanding quicker. Yeah, we can do that anyway, and we can Because once we have four towns, I think because on this uh, we need to explore 90 locations and I think having lots of small cities might actually be useful to this since it reduces the exploration cost. We probably want to... How much would we be getting from... It would be nice to have some kind of population so we can see how much pop population we actually have we've got three population down here so that would be three and then we've got one here and one here that's five so this one is it can basically translate into five support per turn at the moment increasing of course with every Everyone we have, getting the science up there quicker would be nice. Yeah, let's, uh, let's leave those be for now, I think. What do we want now? We want to... Let's just do it this way instead. We don't have anywhere to put the domed park, but I think... No, was it down here? We had the... Yeah. That's going to be a good location for that. So let's turn. Now this was interesting. And we get a proper spaceport as well. And that's two trade routes and an extra comfort of living for the adjacent city. And the robot hub. An insect farm. I got three three good picks this turn. It's a shame we can't take them all. Right, so we need to. It would be nice to get the. We can probably scrap the hypertronic farm. But we want to get the soil factory up, so we want to explore for nitrates, I think. We've got one low hanging fruit. These two should be easy enough. And that one, this one there. This one's three, three, that one's two, and two. 
This one would be two and that one would be two. This one gives us some science. We don't really need the science at the moment. This one gives us some, some support, some water. That's a water mine actually. And here we get some silicates, some water and some small nitrates. Let's go exploring down here. It's an aquifer too. Of course it is. Um, all right. I got another two turns before we can expand into the lava tube. And that'll. So we don't really want to place place the hypodronic farms unless we are importing water, which we're not. We don't have anywhere to put the farm anyway, unless we place it on top of one of our buildings or... There we go. I guess we could start removing some rocks and place it here somewhere. Now let's save the power for next turn. Did we pick anything? No, we didn't. The robot hub or the spaceport. I think the spaceport would be key so we can start really expo exporting into these, but they're mostly silicates and we've only got a plus two on silicates. We have another silicates deposit there. And with the robot hub we could expand out into both of those. The spaceport would be nice to have, but we want the spaceport down here if we were to build it so we get the extra comfort of living for the most population. And this is not a very popular city. Could actually build the agricultural complex here instead of a hypodronic farm though. If we were to expand into that. Yeah, I th I'm thinking the uh, robot hub is the correct choice here. That'll give us two expansions on one city. And uh, even more. And uh, now we can't we pick one of our, we can pick this space project because our three are built up, so we would need to scrap one of these if we wanted to put this one in. We've got the rover exploration center. This would be a useful addition. An extra bacteria spreader or windmills for some extra power. I don't think the luxury workshop is worth that and that amount of resources. We're better off using the silicates for space projects and titanium for mines. So windmills and bacteria spreader, something we could use right now. And the rover exploration center we could use next turn. Don't really have a good location for the rover exploration center. And so all the locations we have are right by our cities. Which of course is nice for exploring around. Could have it either there or up here, depending on if we expand to these two or these two. Got an extra large one there too. I'm gonna get a bus station or a train station in Da Vinci before we expand out to these I think. We need to think a little bit more on of support on this run. So expanding outwards Probably getting the bacteria spreader and we could start spreading these even quicker to get the atmosphere and oxygen levels up. At the moment we're 20 turns from oxygen and 47 turns from atmosphere. And getting those up would provide comfort of living. I think even yeah, the oxygen also provides comfort of living. I'm thinking the bacteria spreader and spreading out to eventually out to the agricultural complex there. And that means I uh, would like the windmills there too, but let's take the bacteria spreader. I think this will help us out more. Let's uh, get rid of that one. And we will use another robot hub down here. All right, now we don't have the power for it, of course. Let's see if we can't explore some power. Then we got one here. We got a big one up here, and a small one here. Small one is 
good enough for us, I think. And the extra water would be helpful as well. And that's a crater too. I don't want to use both of these, I think. And I like the lava tube better. Lava tube provides four radiation protection. The crater only provides two. And this one's also in a minus three oxygen zone. This one is in a minus one oxygen zone. So the, the lava tube's going to be the better city there. And we've got a... We do have the large titanium deposit and a power one there too. We might build a crater city here too. Yeah. An additional small one. Can't build a city until next turn anyway. And how much did this one cost? 26 water. That would leave us with 6 water left. Now we want to build the robot hub before we do anything else though. That means we can expand out to build the bacteria spreader. We get another pick of bacteria. And uh, you want to do the zone they are in first if you can. It's the shortest amount of time. So we will pick that one there. And that means we are delaying by another four turns unless we can find some water down. This one is also a large hint of water and sheep to explore. Yeah, let's grab that one. Six water. That was just what we needed. Let's expand out towards the rich soil. Put an agricultural complex down there. And I think that's it for now. And we're making loads more food. We should be able to expand faster. We're going to need to get more water mines, I think, to increase our water extraction. And we got an aquifer here too. Or aquifer. So once we get expansions on this site, we got the canyon view there too. And this is also a good location for a decent population. Alright, so we get some more technologies. Just as we've finished off the last ones. One support instead of science. And support isn't that useful. And not one at least. And constructing expensive buildings we gain back. Gain 10 science when we complete terraforming parameters. And now that one is nice. Yeah, we're grabbing B. Then have the Arctic rabbits, they require temperature and oxygen. We don't have any way to increase temperature at the moment. And these require loads of temperature and some rainfall. Now we will grab the rabbits there, we won't be using them for a long time, I think. Alright, so we've got an Android hub and a skyscraper. Skyscraper is a bit of a way off. Let's grab the Android hub. We can actually put this one in right now. Don't need the science for anything else, no. We want to just get it up so we have it here instead. We don't know, don't, we're not using titanium for these yet. But it will be useful once we start doing that. Alright, what do we need to be able to place down our structures? We'd like to get this soil factory up and running. And we have enough to build. Now we want to get the Android hub up and running as soon as possible. So exploring for a little bit of titanium is what we want to do. Put one down there. And one up here. One up here is going to be three away from that city. One down here is going to be already is three away from there. And that's some nitrates. Here we also get some... We probably want to take that one. Alright, so let's uh, found our lava tube city. Let's check for a name first. And here we have uh, origins. I think I spelled that one wrong. Let's uh, pop, pop it down and we can check it. Yeah. 
can we re rename it from there? No. Let's just uh, switch places on those. Makes us a little bit happier. And let's uh, pop over here for some extra support. Titanium. Tritanium. Some extra food. And we got another... Oh, this one's quite nice. We've got a triple here and... I guess this one counts as a triple as well. And we've got a quad over here. A lot of places to explore to be able to build anything there though. But it might be a better option than this crater. It's a little bit further off to make exploring costs up here cheaper. And we're quite a way away before we can actually build this one anyway, so... We probably have enough time to get the exploration satellites to finish off those three. We've already been exploring this turn. Did we pick something? We did pick something. And we will turn again. Getting in extra laboratories, extra space hotels. And space hotels would be nice now. But there's a lot of titanium that we need for other things. Here comes the spaceport though. Exhaust processor. Oh, I think we will grab the spaceport. The spaceport's gonna be immediately useful as soon as we can place it down. We need to save up the power for the Android hub down here though. It's going to cost us one power to remove a spot to keep it and then we can place it down the next turn. And that gives us well, basically the three expansions that we need from here for start. build the... maybe we can clear something out here and build a drone hub then we can get up here and build this spaceport there later on. Could get the silicates up here as well. The spaceport is more important. I mean we kind of need to save up our power a little bit. We need to import some power if we are to expand and we can't build it this turn anyway. We still got four more turns with her. It would be nice to actually have it placed down. Uh, you can't place... If we were to go in here it says that some rocks are blocking the way so we need to clear this one out before we can place the drone hub down. And we want to use the, this one for something else. And yeah, we do have one free here. But no real expansion places. Except for the aquifer here, or the aquifer down there. I'm going to have to decide on these two. We should actually find some power if we go there. And that's only two to get there now. Let's explore there, we got loads of extra power. And even more extra power. And there's a geothermal spot, so we can build a power plant here. Or a spa resort. If we were to connect it up to Hoygens, we got the canyon view and the spa resort. And we got the quad here, so we can, we can get some population going on in here. And we could use that to boost up the comfort of living, to boost up support. I think this might be a support city then. And that means we don't really want to spend the Android hub to get these here either, because we're going to spend up gonna try to get population there instead. Did we pick something? Yes we had. Alright then maybe we want to spend the... Now we can't put that down a free drone hub. We can clear out some rubble here. We got the headquarters there so this is going to be population center. Let's go out that way. want to build a spaceport here next turn I think. We will do that with a free drone hub and not the android hub. I think we will use the android hub up here instead. I'll try to explore out those. We'll keep our hands on that one for a bit. And public baths is a quite good one. Don't need it at the moment. We've got the domed park there for use. And homesteads does provide a lot of support. 
but it costs so much titanium and that also means if it gets broken it costs titanium to repair. We will be exploring up here though. All of these are as far away from each other. Let's go there, get the support, titanium and water, some extra power and some sandstones. That doesn't really matter. And here we got a tritanium mine and then the titanium mine there. That's going to be good. We want a train station here in Hygens as well so we can get out to these places. What we need to do though is construct this drone hub here. And expand out. Put the probably actually want to have the spaceport connected to Hygens. And that would mean extracting the water here instead. We can move the spaceport over there, I guess. It's gonna be a long move for it. Now we can I can't uh, we need this. We need the extra trade routes now. Okay, so bacteria spreader is working again. That's 12 turns for either one of them, since they are neighboring a, a zone which has them. Just a few turns away from those. I should be able to get this one in three turns, that's before the oxygen level increases, so we get the science from the oxygen level. We're doing fine up there. This is a little bit worrying though. Alright. We've spent our points there. I mean, we do need to take the homesteads. We do need the population to get support up. We get a... No, it's not a lot of support we get from that either. We really don't need anything else here. Oh, and we got loads of trade rods now too. Uh, let's make sure that we finish this one on the same turn. We'll export a little bit extra there this turn. Brings it to 8-8. Eight, eight. Alright, so this is... Uh, we'll get an extra boost of food, science and power. That would be 8, 4 and 7. That's quite a lot of resources or a little bit of the other ones. Uh, yeah, we're going to take the manufacturing industry. Uh, this would be nice. Exploration satellites would be really nice to get up and swell. Got four space projects. Now so maybe we no we really need the space mirrors to get the heat up. We don't have any other way to get the heat up. And what we're gonna do is make sure that we finish MarsNet next turn. That should help out a little bit with the support. We got enough to build the homesteads and we didn't get anything else to build homesteads. We could build the development center though, but then we're not going to be able to finish the terraforming. Uh, exploration satellites would be so good. I'm tempted to scrap the engineering lab for exploration satellites. Or use this one to see what more we can get. We want to... Maybe we do want to start expanding this one with the Android hub. We are... We won't be getting any more signs from that one from this robot. I'm gonna get from population probably the four there. This one's not gonna really help. We're just gonna get... Three of them, I think. I would probably want to use, build some extra housing around here too then, since we got plus three comfortable living from these. Um, let's uh, do applied research and we'll see if we get anything better. The modular apartments are cheaper than the homesteads. 
and it provides some extra support per turn if you have multiple of them. Cultured meat labs is something we can put down and produce some extra food this turn. Now we'll go with the modular apartments, go down to origins, and we will clear out some rubble here I think. Which way do we want to go? Doesn't matter. Let's just pick this way. And we will put the modular apartments down here. And if we get a second one, we can put those down here. We could kind of chain them off this way. We'll put the dome park down here. And that means we get one expansion. With two populations, we could move down to build the viewpoint tower. That would be two support per turn. Or do we want to move down towards the water and titanium? Got a lot of things costing titanium now. We probably want to start off with the titanium mine. And then we can start expanding out towards these ones. We should be able to put the uh, homesteads down here soon enough. We don't have we haven't explored these yet either, so we can expand upwards in that direction. Okay, so we can pick the space hotels, robot hub landing pad, laboratory. Yeah, there's quite a few good picks here. So now we want to enable MarsNet. Gives us seven more support per turn. And we probably want to start... No, I wanted to go in here, of course. Just getting us, us three turns to get rid of that one. And get it up into space. Now we want to select these, so that once this one hits, we will get the 10 signs from it. And it also helps our goal, of course, of reaching. Um, let's see... A drone hub. Might want to build the second drone hub just to get to the silicates deposit here. That means we need to clear some rubble out. Doesn't really matter. Can replace these with something better once we actually have the locations for it. Let's build that mine and start so we don't run out of silicates. We're going to be needing them for the space mirrors as well, which is about time we actually finish. We're going to have enough to build the homesteads next turn. The domed park is still... yeah, we need the silicates. We also need the nitrates. Did we pick something? No. A landing pad would be nice for an extra trade route. A robot hub is probably more useful. Robot hub could... I want the android hub up here, I think. I'm gonna go, yeah, there's gonna be a mine there. There's not gonna be a mine here, I think. And then we've got three uh, easy low-hanging fruit expansions there. And we don't really... we've got the android hubs, we don't really need the robot hub. Don't need the bacteria spreader either. We do need to get more science. I don't really want to spend neither the nitrates or the silicates for that one though. And let's get the space hotels. Uh, quite expensive in terms of titanium, but at least we are making titanium now and we'll be making even more with this one. Might actually be worth to hook that one up to Hygiene since we're gonna need a bus stop here anyway. To, because we're expanding out towards the geothermal stop or spot. Okay, so we've got a sandstorm which damaged our water mine. It's gonna cost us Power and titanium to repair. Do we want to spend the titanium right this turn? Probably not. It's going to delay our homestead. We want the. That's going to cost us more. Yeah, we're going to have to repair that one. That might be worth. No, we need to finish that one off. Okay, our water mine is here. Hopefully it won't run into Borealis next turn. Oh, hello. 
our exploration satellites. We want to use them up here, of course. That's nice. That was a large mine as well. It's very nice. Then if we had to spend it... Oh yeah, we found more titanium. That's really good. So we can build the homesteads down here. that in there that will give us nine extra support per turn that brings us down to 10 turns from the defeat we could go down to the canyon view we can't build that on this turn we can build it next turn could go down towards the aquifer probably want to go for the viewpoint tower that's at the moment it's only three. Even so, we, this one's gonna fall even more very soon. I think we will... No, we can wait with expanding until next turn. We can actually try to find some titanium somewhere. And if we get it, we can get it now. There's three down there. That's the only titanium we've got left unexplored. we only got two of them. Oh, well, we're gonna need them anyway. We need to get these space hotels up, I think. Actually, it's about time this one should be giving us quite a lot too. We can't put the space project up. Habitation module. Yeah. That's a cheap way to increase the population here by just a little bit more means we get more bang for our buck with the comfort of living from these two. And this one's going to cost us one com one support per turn to just expand out here. And the geothermal power plant would be really nice, but I think Spa Resort is the way to go. Alright, so it's election year again. And uh, Mariam will be leaving us. We can have Svetlana gives us one support per turn for every 13, 14th and 15th. So this is if you're maxing out your cities, this is really good. And we can get... Yeah, we probably want to do this one. Those habitation modules and the skyscraper is going to help us to no end in, in the high pop city. And we've got Aisha Jäger who spreads uh, animals. Yeah, we just go out and check what more we have here. So we don't want to pick the habitation module then. Another spaceport. Yeah, we'll pick the spaceport. And I think we will... We will use this uh, aquifer to extract water for the ocean. So we can put the spaceport down here. And that gives a plus one comfort of living to adjacent cities. To this one. And we can export more titanium as well. And Hellas can expand out into this aquifer. And that means we have four comfort of living from these sites around here. And then we use the, the other Svetlana's card here to get some more modular apartments. And we can expand out and we can put a skyscraper here to make use of the domed park once we put that in. And that means we want water. And put methane. Yeah, that would be nice too. And... Exporting titanium is worth double, so that would be a very good project, but we don't we need to clear one of these out then. I kind of want to get to this one done. Yeah, so we need to select a new leader. Do we want to build a last drone hub? Or do we want to use now we can use the urban planning one instead so if we use the urban planning card do we have enough we can and can't save that many cards I think so we need to be able to actually place them down as well and we can chuck the habitation module out do we have could expand out into the aquifer there, or we can 
do we have here? Is, uh, could expand out towards. Them. That's going to cost comfort of living to expand out to either of these places. Um, we can't really do that at the moment. Yes, we will switch first. Confirm. And we will use uh, urban planning. Gives us the. Uh, oh, we've got habitation modules. Two? Oh, it says habitation modules, okay. I thought it said modular apartments, that would have been nice. Um, okay, so we've got loads of habitation modules, and we have uh, can only have eight of these. And I would have gone with Svetlana anyway, because the, uh, we're not in any kind of place to put down animals on the planet just yet. Okay, what more do we want to do? We need to throw out a few of these. I think actually the animal spreader goes. We might be able to get a new one of those in a, in the future. Uh, we don't need this many habitation modules. Let's get rid of one of those too. We don't want to get rid of the dome park or the soil factory. We've got uh, soon got enough to put the soil factory down. Actually, no, we want to finish this one. We can maybe explore for some nitrates next turn to be able to build it. Right, and that also gives us 10 uh, science. And the sandstorm has destroyed our spaceport. Temperate forests of Mediterranean shrubs. I mean... Where pretty far away from either of them. Let's go with the shrubs. And because we haven't gotten anywhere on the water and I think getting to, to heat is easier. That's an expensive repair. We really want to have the, this one instead. Alright, so and then we have entertainment center and wind turbines. We want to enable the engineering lab for starters. Gets us some extra science per turn. We want to get the space hotels up and running. I think we will just do it simple. It gives us, takes longer though to get that up and running. Would be nice to get some water. And we need the nitrates as well. Do we have somewhere to explore with both nitrates and water? We do down here. Quite a few of them actually. And this one would give us some and it's quite cheap. We get some support, water and some nitrates. This means we can go back here and we will place down the soil factory here. Gives us three more food per turn. And we're back down to four cards. We haven't picked anything though. Picking the uh, orbital telescopes, we're going to need to be using the Tritanium for the spaceport and for repairing our other spaceport. So the Tritanium is not going to be something we can use anytime soon. Cultured Meat Lab though, is going to be a lot cheaper than the Hyperdronic Farm. Doesn't produce as much food, but uh, I think we will do it that way. We will throw the Hyperdronic Farm out and we will keep the Cultured Meat Lab. And plant spreader. We're not going to be spreading any plants anytime soon either though. So maybe we keep the hypodronic farm and we throw out the plant spreader. Well, we can't build anything more this turn. We used our skills. We have selected our things. We've got our trade rods set up. Do we have enough? Yes, we do have enough to move out here. We can build a viewpoint tower. We wanted to repair our spaceport. Just to get rid of that support per turn. And it's going to tick down on... It repairs one, per, one resource per turn, but it repairs first the power, then the tritanium. That's a lo long wait for it to auto-repair. I think we're better off doing this. And we should be able to build a new city up here soon enough in two turns. 
actually if we do it this way instead we remove the food from there and we import food export some science that way we can expand up here next turn and we get even more This one would have been a lot better for <laughs> than the nitrates farm we just or nitrates uh, factory we just put down. And that would be good as well to get some extra titanium income and import oceans. Yeah, that's a, that's a good way to get oceans. We will spend this one up here though. And we've got 30 support. Leverage there, we're at minus 65 per turn now. And the question then is if we place this is plus six support. Now we need to get that one up as soon as possible. And get rid of that. we afford to export that if we do it we probably need to keep some of this as well so we've got about five turns to fix this it's just a tall order going down here we're gonna get this is just a crater We just check here we can have plus three from putting down a population here or we can have plus four for putting down one down here oh okay well yeah we can revert that of course and we can actually pick which one we want this one gives us access to some extra resources and some extra guided tours there and, but we don't have the, we can't put down the Android hub directly because we're exporting if we instead, all right, so we, we can't be exporting everything there. We need to import now, import one, export, and we would need to get that spaceport up and running, I think. So if we do it this way it should be better then we can found the city we can get the android hub down next turn and then we can expand to the sandstones that means we're going to be needing extra food we don't want to be exporting that food then either probably want to import an extra food and we'll export some extra science i think this should be enough Let's uh, clear out this one. There we go. And this is Antoniadi. And uh, not with a nine. This can be a pink city. Alright, so we want to have the Android hub here in next turn. Desperately need this domed park as well to go into Hoygens. No, we don't need the habitation modules, we need support per turn. But what reason? We need to get silicates and we need to get nitrates. We don't get either from exploring that one. I don't get anything for exploring up there. That's silicates. We are. Just two turns away on silicates though, we are further away on nitrates. So nitrates are more important if we can't get both. This one. And we get some support too. Still need more nitrates. But we're gonna have the... We need to import one of those 
to get the uh, this one here. Next one, we need four extra food to be able to do the sandstones here. Now we can research a project. Go to skyscraper, the GMO lab. Oh, we do need to spend all our science anyway. Uh, GMO lab we can just place down here. Do we want to have another farming area around here maybe? Because the GMO lab is adjacent food buildings, yes. We'll place the GMO lab there. Then we can place the cultured meat lab here once we have enough. Quantum data center. No, we need to spend our silicates on other things. The research center would be an okay pick. An extra space hotel. And some. A very good power plant. Do we have. That's our best location for the power plant, probably. Which is unfortunate. We don't really want to have it there. We want to use the sandstones for tours. And we want to expand out towards these mines as well. I think going to cost a lot of titanium, both of them, to get up and running. It's going to be two more turns until we can build the titanium mine. We built the android hub, at least we can get the guided tours up. And that will help stave this off for a little bit longer. While we wait to get the... Yeah, that's... Uh, Go in here, let's pick up the Android Hub. Android Hub can go down there, it's fine. And it looks like, oh yeah, we got some power and titanium back from that one. We totally forgot about that. And we've got the uh, one more robot until we can do, or until we get another science from advanced machine learning. Let's expand out towards the sandstones. Let's get some guided tours up and running. And the next one is going to be to expand out towards the large titanium mines down here. We need to have a nitrates deposit. Down here we have a large hint of nitrates. Three power, yeah that's fine. Six nitrates, perfect. And that's in Hellas that we have our population center, no? In Hygens. We have a three population. Let's put down the stone park here. Gives us quite a lot more. It turns uh, red when it's below 10 turns, I think. And then we want to put our skyscraper down here. So we need to save up food for that. And once the skyscraper is in, we can expand out towards the geothermal spot. We want to expand out towards the aquifer as well. And we will take this one up. Uh, we're going to need about five, four turns, maybe. And we can start uh, putting into the space hotels again, I think. If we do it... Oh. Maybe if we can go four turns. Yes, if we import some. Can we import two? We don't need to import as many of these. If we import one, that's three turns until we have enough. We want to keep importing a bit of these until we get the extra mine up and running here. Four. Actually, it's probably better off this way. That means we can get that mine up and running next turn. And what do we want to pick? Yeah, we can spread some bacteria. Plus one science if we've got a city. Don't have a city up there. The only zone it's possible to put it in. And uh, we've got a city in this one. So let's go there first. I assume we've got some atmosphere that should help us out here as well. And for projects, well, we kind of need the titanium for our other things. 
There we got another plant spreader, research center. Now let's pick up the power plant. We are, we have a deficit somewhere. We've got one. Now we have to export another one there to be in balance. A nuclear oxygen factory. Now we're getting atmosphere and oxygen in loads from our other things there. Let's say get the support. Robot hub is using the correct. No, we don't have that many nitrates. Importing some oceans would be fine, but we need to build loads of uh, bikes before we can import any oceans. More food is always nice. Don't have the nitrates. We've got loads of habitation modules. Let's get the robot hub. This means we can now expand down towards the titanium deposit. So we don't need to import any more titanium. We want the tritanium deposit there though. We can uh, pull down there, we can export one of these. And I think we're gaining 14 per turn. We need 37. Which means we need to be able to make that in three turns. We need 12. Now we need one more in this turn, I think. Yeah, we can't export them up there in either way then. Let's start putting some uh, silicates into the mirror. We can't do anything more there. We need to explore for Power would be fine, water would be fine, food would be fine. Can't explore for food. Uh, water... Actually, those might be useful as well. And mostly we just need to keep exploring. We can't explore something too expensive though. I don't want to. Water... So is water going to help us? No, we just need more food. And we need the... Yeah, well, let's take this one. It's a fairly cheap empty tile. We have a deficit in our imports. We are importing one more than we are exporting. Now we need to... Oh, we can import an extra mineral somewhere. Let's take a nitrate, that means we can build the cultured meat lab next turn. So the road paver might be a good one to pick up. Exploration satellites would be really good. Let's get rid of those. Up here in... was it? No. Up here in Antonadi. We've got the GMO lab, so let's put down the cultured meat lab there. Gives us some extra support and two more food per turn. Which means we should not be importing more food. We should be able to export some food there instead. And if we stop importing that, then we'll put an extra titanium into that this turn. Then we can export one one there and it'll be done in four turns. So we've got the spaceport that we need on this tile, we want to get the skyscraper though. And let's see, we want to explore somewhere expensive. This one might be the most expensive. We have four. It's got a few fours. Do we need science? No, not really. Nitrates? No, not really. Science and nitrates. And what resources are we lacking? Don't have a good location for this one yet. We're only lacking food at the moment, or water. To get more food. So that's... Uh, that one's three to explore. Do we have a water that's not three, that's two there? It's two up here and some power. Let's grab that one. We can use the yeah, 
might be a decent one to get up there anyway. If we can get four water, we can build that one this turn. And that's some extra silicates. And that one's gonna be more useful. Right, so we got plenty of water. Let's uh, clear this one out and we can build the hypodronic farm there. It gives us loads of extra food. We can still research a project. What do we wanna pick up? Road pavers are nice, but we do need to use our titanium for other things. Public bath would also be nice. Don't really know where we're gonna put it though. We don't have a lot of water. Right, let's get the satellites. We, after all, we do need to explore quite a few more locations. And there we go, even more support income declining. Um, restaurant district might be decent enough. How much food are we making here? We are making six food. And that gives us adjacent population. Okay, so that doesn't help us. And here we are making a six. We don't have anywhere to put it down here anyway. Okay, so one more turn until we can expand hygiene and put down the spaceport. We don't have any. Yes, we can take the hypodronic farm there as well. And we've got another one to put up here for extra food. Yeah, we don't want to be overworking at the moment. We have two turns to turn the tide around. It's uh, not good. Let's see if we can explore a little bit down here. It gives us a little bit of support. On the old rover, provides five support per turn. Yeah, let's get the rover museum. Can we put it down in Hellas? Do we need the titanium for anything next turn? I'm gonna put down the spaceport and we're gonna build the geothermal spot that requires water. So we need more water, we need to import some water. If we, yeah, so we need to cancel our space projects here, and we will put everything into importing some water, exporting science, of course. Since we need to export science anyway to to get that up, and we don't need any. Do we need titanium? Then we just need power to extract the water got the power we need we're gonna need four to extract that just the water to build that but we're gonna need 10 power to build this yeah all right I think we are set as so so we can build the rover museum this turn oh, that's seven power do we have enough power now no we don't so we can't do that we need the 4 power there, we, uh, we needed the 10 power, so we need 14 power next turn. So we can't really spend that much power now if we're going to get the water too. And we need the water for that one, it's going to give us more. And this one's going to give us 5. That's the same as this one. But this one gives us minus three as well. And then this one gives us another 10. Yeah, I think we don't want to delay that one. No, let's do it this way. I 
that one might be useful. Now we have enough to build the skyscraper. Let's put that one down. Now we need to clear the rubble out. Skyscraper plus 17. That's nice. And we need to get the expansion off to there. That's minus one, but we'll build a spa resort. So it's some additional. We cut down to the aquifer, we extract it, and we build the spaceport. And that gives us down to uh, less than two turns still. But we can so we'll survive two more turns. And now we need, we don't need the water anymore. Now we need the power, I think. And we need to get this one up and running. We're getting four power. We need to import one power. And I think we will just put the rest into... It's, oh yeah, we can probably... We have a bonus uh, trade rod for having the spaceport beside the titanium mine. That means we can export one more titanium. So this will not finish next turn. Do it this way. Three in three, yeah, that should be fine. And we should be able to move into maybe this one afterwards. And start exporting loads of silicates. Do we have enough to build the mine here? That's going to cost a lot of power too. And we need the power for... Well, let's start off with the rover museum. No, we don't have a good spot to put that one in either way. Uh, cards, we need to pick something. The power we don't have right now. Don't have water. Bacteria spread is not going to help us. Let's grab the rover exploration center. Don't think it's going to help us right now. Do we have somewhere with power we can explore? Do we have one here with power and water? If we're lucky, we gain extra power from. How much is it? Three. No, we can't even afford it. And we really don't need. This one. And actually, the extra skyscraper could go in. We can move one of these just out to the side, and we can have an extra skyscraper in here. And that provides that's a plus eight. That's 18 from. Yeah, that's probably the better choice, and we can move this one over. Let's, uh, let's grab that. We can sell off some of our habitation modules. We don't need that many of them. We keep two of them just in, in case we want them. Okay, so atmosphere increased, 100 support. That's good. To keep us floating for another turn. Wind turbines? No, we can't afford the uh, titanium cost, I think. Laboratory. It's actually using things that we're not using for anything else at the moment. Doesn't really matter where we put the rover museum. It's just science and support. And we put that one down. How can we... No, I thought it turned red when we put it down. Just decrease that one, so we got four turns left. And we can't build that mine this turn because we don't have the power. Alright, so next turn we will get the space hotels. We will put the rest of everything into the giant space mirrors. That comfort of living is going to be key to helping us out. Do we have somewhere to put science buildings? No, not really. Let's just put this one down. Does it help us to gain more science? We want to get more 
bacteria going now. I want to start off that way. Another seven turns until we get more oxygen. Lab lab. Having the extra science is mostly something we can trade away, but we need loads and loads and loads of science for the victory condition. I think we will pop that one down with the resources we have. Maybe we actually need to put the silicates into that. We're not making that many of them. I will hang on to that for a bit. We'll go exploring for support probably. Can we have some support and silicates and science? Yeah, let's go there. Extra lava tube. That's a nice place to expand to as well. Plenty of places we need to explore before we can do that. And I guess we don't really have anything. We get 15 support from not using her options though. Or we can get an extra skyscraper. Still gonna be quite a lot of time before we can actually put it into something. It would be nice to get a train station or bus station into Hygen so we can start expanding outwards from here. We've got some decent sites at least. Now we need to start to or expand more I think in some of the other towns. So let's uh, let's take the support there. Homesteads are better than habitation modules. They provide for support, but they cost loads of titanium. Don't need food at the moment. And titanium could be useful to gain some extra atmosphere and some heat. Android hub. Well, we've got an Android hub already. Development center. I think it's about time we put in a development center. Let's do the space hotels. That fixes that one. And 17, can we make, we pro probably could make that one into next turn. Let's see if we can put everything into 6 per turn, we can't keep that up. Yeah, we probably can keep that up though, for 6 turns. And that will increase our comfort of living. I don't have anywhere to place the robot center. This crater is a high... I've got the hyperloop that would work. The development center we want to put in Hellas I think or we have a free slot down here. Yeah we do. Doesn't really matter where we put it. We want to put this one down. It just costs science. It'll give us two extra and we can pick an extra project. Should we pick the... Yeah, let's pick the methane importation there for now. We have enough to build our mine down here. No, we need some power more for that. Can we explore some power? We got that small power down there that costs three. We're probably not going to make a, a net gain from exploring this location. Could have expanded out here, I guess, to gain the extra one there. There's gonna be two more turns until we can do this. And this is probably the next to second to last turn we've got her. So maybe we wanna get that extra skyscraper card while we can. And how many cards do we need to throw? We can keep ten. Let's throw out the habitation module. I'm going to hang on to that one for a little bit longer. Alright, so we got election year. And then we got space tourism. That's nice, we gain some extra support for 
particles, we can start space hotel construction with just titanium. And we gain three for each space project. So this would be a decent trade. Gain extra power for every 10 expansions, trade center for free. And gain some resources. Alright, so what do we want to do? We could use the... Yeah, we need to get this mine up and running, I think. And then next turn we can build a skyscraper that should help a little bit with this. And I think we might want to get rid of this one. And we can, if we pick Deja, we can get a space hotel in there instead. We should be able to build that in two turns. Alright, so let's set off the uh, space project and instead put up a space hotel. And we can get three random resources into all three of these next turn. Now we want to get that don't really have any good expansion points left. We could build a robot hub up here to gain access to the rocky plains to get the... and just put that one there for now. And that might be useful. Let the gain us some extra power and we seem to be running out of power every turn. And we don't have the power to put it down of course. Unless we were to put down a hub module here instead. But then we can put down the skyscraper next turn and we're going to need to put that one down for the uh, support. I've got 33 support uh, locked in up there too. Now we can still research projects. Uh, public baths could be a decent one until we find another domed park I think. Actually, schools might be easier because they don't require water. Yeah, we'll hang on to both of those. Let's throw out some hub, hub modules. We've got enough for five population down here. I wonder if we can rearrange them. No. Okay. Neither of these are really that useful to us at the moment. Got another skyscraper there too. Orbital ring. Would be a decent one to get, but it's going to cost us a bit. Alright, the first thing we want to do is go into hygiene. We want to... which do we want to move first? We actually lose less from moving the HQ than from either of the other ones or the modular apartments ok let's move the HQ building there and put in it no because I think we could replace that one too um, let's move the modular apartments out one put the skyscraper in there that's plus 25 which is nice it kind of brings us a little bit into the line. Um, I could put the school down too, I guess. Could put it down. Probably want it adjacent to a skyscraper because then it gives four. It's a science. It's better than the uh, laboratory anyway. Let's do that. Give us some extra. So at least it affects two population there. I really need a train station or bus station here. And we want to use this one to get some resources into our space projects. 
We get three saved three titanium there. We get some in there. We want those space hotels up, I think. And we have, yeah. An extra titanium one. If we put four in this turn, we can put three in next turn. The rest goes into there, I think. And we can finish this one next turn. And that is the better option. And that means we have two more expansions from here. I think we want to see if we... Small hint of what one of these might be a high plateau. We're kind of hoping for that so we can put the power plant down there. This one will give us some extra. We probably need to look at them both though. So the crater was not a high zone. A rover exploration center will, will give us some exploration turns here in the area. Yeah, let's uh, go out there. We'll build it. Oh no, then we don't. Yeah, we're gaining five every turn, that's fine. Can build a rover exploration turn there, or a center. That'll give us a rover exploration to go down there. And that was a high plateau, that's perfect. And then we will expand out there and we will put the power plant up there. There's three more power every turn. We don't have enough silicates now for the laboratory, but that's fine. Yeah, and we got the event here. Can choose a second one. Another exploration plant. Yeah, we get the exploration one. And what do we want here? We already got a hypertonic farm that we can't use. Can't take a space project anyway. I guess we take the skyscraper. And the oxygen factory. We'll probably set off the oxygen factory. Penguins only require oxygen. So we'll grab the penguins. Cultured meat lab. And we have the resources to just straight up replace. I'll replace some of them. And we will get that down for now. Alright, so that's going to be all for today. Thank you all for watching. Take care and see you next time.